the best conference. But if Alabama loses this game, I don't see Missouri getting there. They were 17 last week. Uh, they beat Arkansas team. You don't get much bump from that. But if you beat Alabama, you know, you get a lot of bump from that. But I don't know you can come that far. There's four teams that lost this past weekend, so there's some room to move up. It's just not far enough. It's weird. When you look at a lot of the two uh, lost teams, let's just say, let's bring in the chaos, and mm -hmm. we see all these teams, the favorite teams that I just mentioned, all lose. Then you, you, you look at the resume of the two lost teams, and each one has one of those, oh, that's a really <laughs> bad loss. You can't lose to Indiana, you know? Right. So is there a two-loss team that you can see mm -hmm. and, and make a case to move up and say, all right, we had that chaos. We deserve a shot to play in this playoff. Clearly Arizona, and, and I don't know that it needs a lot of chaos. I mean, you look at this Arizona team, and, you know, they, they beat Utah at number 17. Then they beat Arizona State at number 13 to get to the Pac-12 championship game. And then the big question is, if they beat number two, Oregon, and that's why I say you don't need a lot of payoffs because this is a team that is as hot as anybody in the country with the teams that they beat. If they beat number two, Oregon, I think there is an argument for Arizona State to get into the Arizona. playoff. Arizona, I'm sorry, if for Arizona to get into a playoff, especially if you're talking about chaos and teams losing, Arizona's looking pretty good. And then we'll see, and we'll learn a lot more, too, on how the committee judges injuries, too, dealing with the Ohio State situation as they get ready for Wisconsin. The thing that would really stand out about Arizona's resume, two wins over Oregon, including one on the road. There are two losses, USC and UCLA. More from Joey Galloway, College Football Live, 2.30 Eastern on ESPN.